Paisley Abbey, founded in 1163, is a building rich with history. Not only the Abbey itself, but beneath the ground lies past secrets only recently uncovered. A drain built by monks was discovered in 1991 and excavated by archaeologists. To their amazement, they found broken slate upon which was written some early forms of music. Paisley Abbey was the place where the future Robert II was born and he went on to become the first Stuart King. Uh, so the whole uh, Stuart Raw line originated, if you like, in, in Paisley Abbey. There's a, there's a tremendous sense, I think, of of history, both, uh, if you like, political history and also religious history, so that when you're in the Abbey itself, you think of all the prayers that have been offered over hundreds of years, and, and you're part of that long succession of people Renfrew District Council had proposed to mark out the positions of major buildings and conduits of the monastery to enhance interest in the site. Working together with archaeologists from Glasgow University, the search for the drain began. On the last day they were tidying up and a man walk, walking past leant on the fence and said, what are you doing? You see? And they said, well, we, 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 are, we are looking for the Abbey's medieval drain, but we haven't found it. And he said, well, I know where it is. <laughs> and it turns out <laughs> that in his young day, uh, he had been uh, an apprentice, I think, with the water board and had been sent down into the drain uh, for some, uh, you know, something to do with the water board. So he took them across the road to the other side of Abbey Close, from where they were looking, uh, and said, if you dig that piece of ground up, you'll find a manhole cover, which they did, and the manhole cover was the entrance to the drain. <laughs> and the drain actually looks as, more like a tunnel than a drain. I don't know what you think of when you think of a drain, but you know you might think of something quite small, whereas this is two meters high, stone vaulted ceiling, stone walls, stone floor. So it's, it's quite a structure. Um, when they first discovered, rediscovered it, there was about a meter of mud uh, on the ground. And inside that mud, there were all sorts of remains, including the the slate music. What must the Abbey have been like in the days when they would build a structure like that for a drain? It just suggests the importance of the Abbey, the power of the Abbey, the wealth of the Abbey in those days. During the excavation in the early 90s, slates were discarded as building material until it was noticed that one of the slates had writing on it. It contains some music, you know, going back to the, I think, the 14th century, um, identified as coming from Ireland. So someone must have come across knowing how to notate music and scratched it out in the slate, which was used for educational purposes. The monks presumably taught the choristers how to read music using these slates and we were able to identify, I wasn't personally, but we took it to someone at Glasgow University who identified the style as coming from Northern Ireland, or Ireland, it would have been County Louth at that time. Um, and on that slate was a, a piece of music which we reckon comes from a motet or something. So we, we knew that singing went on in the 14th century in the Abbey and has continued uh, to go on ever since. Even though the music written on the slates found during the excavation of the drain is so significant, there is still a mystery of exactly what it is and what it means. It could be part of a motet probably up to three voices. That's, it wouldn't have been any more, I don't think. It would have been unaccompanied. Um, and there are no words, so there's nothing to guide us at all. That's as much as, as we know, really. I just, just wish we'd get down there and find some more slates of music, because that might provide an answer. The early forms of music that were found have inspired many artists over the years, including UWS master student Robert Allen. He has composed a piece of music taking inspiration not just from the slates and the drain, but also from Paisley Abbey.
So, um, I had composed a couple of different uh, pieces um, and I had basically took in the, the lost and found element so I wanted it to have like a, a beginning piece and an end piece put them together and, and, and have that so I tried to come up with some quite kind of sad sounding music and then for the second half some kind of hopeful uh, kind of uplifting kind of music um, so I, I visited the Abbey um, and I spoke to the, the minister and he had shown me around and I, at that point I decided on this piece. So I had to work on it a little bit, me and Gordon sent some ideas back and forward. So I thought I'd try and challenge myself and do something a little bit different and I've never actually written music before as well, so that was, that was the other challenge. Uh, so not only write music, try to do it on the piano, I can record a little bit so that made it easy. Well, that, so when I had, I had two separate pieces and uh, I thought I was going to use the other one and then when I came in, just how beautiful it was, I was like this, there was something about this piece that I thought resonated with the Abbey and just the actual feel of the place. Because it was weird when I came, I, it was just a weird feeling in the place, it's, it's quite welcoming and it's, it's so beautiful. So that was kind of what made me choose that one. Um, we always had the slates and we had the music and I was going to try and incorporate that, but whoever wrote it didn't have a good ear for melody, in my opinion. So I thought I would kind of just try and come up with my own piece, but be inspired by that to kind of bring it together and make something quite unique. So Gordon took the slates, he kind of scribed them, put them to music and uh, gave me them. We had a listen. Um, and I guess it would have been easy to have just took what they did and put that into something, but I guess it was taking inspiration from that and coming up with something unique on its own. Um, I thought it was interesting, obviously it's really old, but it was uh, interesting. So tonight I'm sort of working on um, some music for our collaborative project. Um, a few weeks ago we were at the in fact, we've been to the Abbey a couple of times, um, sort of just meeting the people in the in the building, finding out a little bit more about the Abbey, the drain, the sort of background. And um, the second time that we went there, um, we had the chance to... Um, basically, I, I took in a small drum kit into the Abbey and I just thought it would be a good idea to try and play some drums, um, play some grooves in the Abbey uh, with the intention of using it back here um, and creating some music for the piece. So um, the thing was though, it was so ambient. I mean, the 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 room was so lively that um, when I was playing like straightforward drums, it was all, it, the reverb was sort of making it overlap um, and it was, quite, you know, wishy-washy, I guess, so um, once I realised that was the case, I decided to just take individual um, samples of the drums, just straight hits on the kick, snare, toms and cymbals, um, and the idea, I guess, was to sort of use them to build a drum groove and then sort of build a track around that. Um, so that was my side sort of idea, Robert. Um, he does the, the music also in our group. He's composing a piece also. Um, his will be the main piece I would imagine for this, uh, which I will then be mixing. Robert and Gordon collaborated to produce a piece of music drawing inspiration from early polyphonic styles, exciting periods of history passed down through stories and one that does credit to the beautiful architecture of the Abbey. Reviving the music of Paisley Abbey was not just a one-dimensional goal but a journey to engage with a past so different from the present but still connected through rhythm, beat 
and song. Lost, not found, secrets lie beneath silt and time, not free but bound, music on slate never to be sung, lost, not found, lost, not found, a drain of darkness and still, silence, no sound, history deep underneath the earth, lost, not found, lost, not found, discovery, Amid sunlight, cries of treasure, not lost, but found. Books rewritten, songs inspired, not lost, but found. Not lost, but found. <laughs>